so many amiibos. How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Strictly Nintendo where I've had very little sleep and way too much caffeine so we are going to take a look at so many amiibos. Now as far as the ones that are unsealed I have these for very strategic reasons. Uh, the first ones are Link, Zelda, and Sheik and that's because I'm very confident that with the new Zelda game that Link and Zelda will be utilized. Hopefully Sheik will be utilized as well. Hopefully she's a playable character but even if she's not this one is really in like my top three favorite Amiibos because it has that high quality displayable figurine character. So even if she's not utilized, I'm definitely happy to have multiples of that character. I also have Fox McCloud, which again, I'm very confident that they'll utilize this Amiibo and the Star Fox game coming out later this year. Honestly, I don't see a core game from Nintendo coming out on the Wii U for the rest of the Wii U's life, which I think is probably going to be the next three full years, but I'll get into that in another video that you might see somewhere else. Anyway, moving on, I also have Pikachu, and while Pikachu is one of the more simplistic ones, I mean, it's Pikachu. Iconic character, really cool, you know. As I mentioned, I didn't get into Pokemon until Black 2 on the DSi XL, and, um, during that whole game, you know, I, I spent like 90 hours on that game or something like that, uh, and I never caught a Pikachu. I'm still playing it, you know, so maybe I will, but when I picked up my new 3DS and got Pokemon Y, within an hour of playing that game, I caught a Pikachu, which I subsequently named Electro Butt, because I'm immature. So <laughs> I do have two Pikachus. And then last but not least, I have two Samuses. And there's two reasons why I have two Samuses. And, you know, first and foremost, She's a badass. She's an iconic and important character to the gaming industry across the board. And, of course, Metroid is one of the best and most important series ever created. And look at that stance. If you saw her coming towards you, you're going to do what she says, you know. And the metallic paint job brings this character to life. This is definitely in my top three best-looking amiibos. And as far as what I have sealed, these are arranged in like my favorite to least favorite, and we'll go over why. My top three favorites are Samus, Fox, and Sheik. And the reason being is these have the highest quality. These have the best detail, the best paint job, the best stances. Everything about them looks professional, and it has that characteristic of high quality displayable figurines. So those are my favorites. Uh, close second is Zelda and Link. They just don't really cross that threshold of being like, really, really nice, but they have great detail, great color. I like them, so they're a near second. And those five are really my top of the mark with Samus, Fox, and Sheik being my personal favorite. And then we get into kind of the middle ground. What I feel is we're getting away from the displayable figurine aspect and more into the cartoony or toy aspect. But in this category, my favorites are Donkey Kong and the two Bowsers because they have great detail and they really do a good job of having captured that personality of the characters, which the rest of them do, but because of the stance, the detail, everything about them, that whole encompassing aspect of these figurines, those are my favorite as far as the ones that are getting more into the toyish aspect. And then you get into Toon Link, The Villager, and Mario Party Luigi, and while these are very toy-like and more simplistic, they do a great job of pulling off that character very cleanly and doing a decent job of capturing the personality of the characters minus maybe Luigi. He's just like, hey. Um, but uh, those I really like because of how clean they are. And then you get into Diddy Kong, the two Yoshis, Smash Brothers Luigi, Mario, the two Peaches, and Toad. Now as far as detail goes, Diddy Kong and Mario are my favorite. I like Diddy Kong the best. It really captures his playful, childlike personality which is really cool. Uh, the Luigi one, I don't really get. I mean, like, it looks good. Good detail. They pulled off that character cleanly. But the stance is just weird to me. I don't know if he's getting ready to execute the perfect swan dive or if he's on the front of the Titanic with Leonardo DiCaprio. But that one's just kind of weird. And then you have the Smash Brothers Mario, which looks really good. I like the prop of the fireball. He looks aggressive, like he's getting ready to go into battle. 
Now, when you get to the two peaches, I prefer the Smash Brothers peach because of the stance and the detail it adds more life to the character, whereas the Mario Party peach is very simplistic. Not a whole lot of detail. It comes off very much more toy-like. And I think the Smash Brothers Peach really captures the personality of that iconic character better, which also translates over to the Toad, where, yes, it's simplistic, but if you look at it, he has that really, what I call, doofy look to him, where it's dumb and goofy. I'm not trying to be offensive here or anything like that. I've just always found Toad to be very dumb and goofy. Uh, but it's a very cool amiibo. I like the way it pulls off that character very well, and it has life and personality to it. And then you get into Kirby and Pikachu, which are the two most simplistic amiibos, but they pull off those characters very well. I've never thought Pikachu to be a highly intelligent creature, so when you look at this and it's kind of complacent and just like, Yep, I'm here. What's up? Pikachu, in the house. It pulls off that cute, playful kind of personality of the character. And Kirby... He looks like he's awestruck, like, I don't know, maybe like he just discovered the Scrambled Channel or something, but that's uh, as simplistic as that character is. It has a nice personality and a nice liveliness to it. It's really interesting how simplistic it is, yet how endearing it looks. And then lastly, I have Mega Man and Sonic. Now, I'm probably going to upset some people here, but I have these because they were available. I'm honestly not a Mega Man fan or a Sonic fan. But, you know, overall, the quality looks good. They have a cool stance, great paint job. Overall, there's a nice liveliness to it. So still, the quality of the figurine is great. Overall, like I said, I have my favorites, but these are all cool. And if you're a toy collector like me, obviously, you're going to want to get as many as you can. And, you know, if you're not looking at these for the toy collectability factor, you know, and you want to really enhance how you interact with your games, Pick the ones that relate to the franchises you're really, really interested in, and then get those, and then enjoy your games. You know, and when you're not using them for gaming, dress up your gaming area and make it look even cooler. So hopefully you've enjoyed this look at my collection and that your collection is expanding the way you want it to. And that'll do it for this episode of Strictly Nintendo, and until the next episode, take care. And I got these two after I shot the video.